since 1963. That's 60 years. Happy 60th anniversary in The legendary daytime soap opera General Hospital has kept their fans hooked. God, Felicia, she's dying and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Felicia! Set in the fictional town of Port Charles, the show brings plot lines with every twist and turn. You killed me! Imaginable to the screen. I would rather die than go one more step with you. Murders. <laughs> betrayals. But you're not yourself right now. And of course, romantic love affairs. Yeah. <laughs> Today, it's the longest running daytime drama. Come on, that is insane. Debuting on ABC when color TVs were just making their way into living rooms. Soap operas like GH, as it's called, are part of a daytime TV genre named after soap ads that so commonly ran. Get new fab with Dura Bright. During commercial breaks. Puts you in a unique position to get information for us to put him away for good. Being able to say really dramatic lines is why I get up in the morning. What is it going to be? Since 1985. Well, that's one good thing about going away. I won't ever have to hear about her again. Vanola Hughes has been captivating fans as the mysterious spy Anna Devane. I, I get to play someone who sees through everybody else and who is pretty tough and pretty strong. As soon as I put on my outfit, I'm like, oh, there she is. The show will go on. The nurse's ball is bigger than all of us. I remember watching with my aunt and my mom, and it was just always on, and they were so into it. What do you think has, has given that soap opera so much staying power that it's been around for so long? I think you just said it, Stephanie, because it's multi-generational, and, you know, I, I hear so much from people that... I used to sit on my grandmother's lap and watch it, and then I became a lifelong fan. There have been so many storylines in the last couple of decades, but do you have a favorite? My daughter gets kidnapped, and uh, I have to go looking for her. Robin! And I jump out of the van. We did it only in one take. It was just a really, for me, iconic moment because I remember being so full of emotion. Give me time to make arrangements for a new place. What's half of my life? I don't know many actors that could say they've been playing a character for 30 years. Maurice Bernard has made millions of fans swoon since 1993, portraying mobster Sonny Corinthos. Why should I believe anything that comes out of your lion mouth? They've let me create the character, and that's fun. Um, he's a cool dude, and he's a tough guy. But not only one level tough, he's got a lot underneath. Some of his most treasured scenes over the years hit close to home. I played a, a storyline where the character on my show has Alzheimer's. And my dad got Alzheimer's at the same time. When the character passed away, my dad passed away pretty much the same time. A lot of me on General Hospital is like art imitating life. In the show's heyday, back in the 80s, many actors made an appearance before they were household names. From singer-actor Rick Springfield as the young heartthrob doctor Noah Drake, to John Stamos as Blackie Parrish, and a young Demi Moore back in 1982. Even Meghan Markle appeared yes. back yes. in 2002. Her father was a lighting director. So many people have gone through the show. Is there a moment with one of them that stands out to you at all? Rick Springfield, I had, I, I was um, in a sort of love affair with him, which was lovely, and he, he's a sweet person. To be your lawful wedded wife. One of the most Would famous love stories in TV history had the entire country captivated. Till death do us part. Luke and Laura, with their legendary but tortured on-screen romance that culminated with a lavish wedding in 1981. A whopping 30 million Americans tuned in, which remains a daytime record. In addition to the dramatic love sagas, the show also tackles tough topics like sexual assault and important social issues like HIV. Oh, Robin, I see you. And single motherhood. Mommy.
Yes, darling. Well, that was in the 80s. And I can't tell you how many letters I would get from single mothers. Mm -hmm. They could relate. Absolutely. General Hospital also because highlighting the difficult subject of mental people. illness. Now my character's bipolar, I'm bipolar, and I get to go in there and just be like, this actor. Like many people during the pandemic, Bernard struggled. As an outlet, he began using his platform to connect with others. This is state of mind. One night, I had an anxiety attack at night, and I decided to film it to show the audience. His assistant encouraged him to share his experience more widely, leading to a YouTube series called State of Mind. And then I started getting like all these followers what, going to every Sunday like church. The pandemic has it's a curse and a blessing because the, the, the blessing is what you and I are doing right now really helps people. I know from my show, State of Mind, it's unreal what this does. Today, General Hospital is only one of three remaining soap operas on the air and showing no signs of slowing down. General Hospital has the most loyal fans in the history of fans. And it's because we're in their living rooms every day and we become like family. We're also in everybody's house like five days a week. So we, people really do get t invested in us. I dare anyone to try to cancel us. But I can tell you right now, with, with General Hospital, don't even try, because Sonny will, Sonny will come after you. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, Click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.